Hello guys, Joseph once more from Joe Concept. So let's quickly look at what I'm going to do today. So if you look at this, we are going to be looking at um, dynamics with your rig, adding dynamics to your rig. So there is a dynamic tab in the rig, one of the rig um, tags. So we're just going to look at how that works. So if I play this through now, I want you to look at this, um, the air here so you notice what happens as soon as i play notice what happens to the air it comes down and if i go to this and start rotating you notice what happens so i'm going to go crazy with this so that you can see what's happening so you see what's happening with this so this is um dynamics in the ik tag so we're going to look at how to add this and Anytime you move this object, you will notice this interacting and all that. So don't mind this. So that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. So I'm going to stop this and go to a new file. No, don't mind me. So I'm going to go to a new file, which I've already set up. So this model, I got it from 3D, um, sorry, 3dmdb.com. So you can just search for clown, so you can get this 3D clowns there. So I'm going to try and do similar things here. Yeah? So let's quickly go through the process of the rigging, then we'll talk more of adding that tag. So select this, I'll go to um, character, go to object, to, so join to. So I'm, I'm going to go to my front view. So I'll just quickly start holding down control. You know all this, so I don't really need to. So this is more like the first joint. So I'm going to make sure I deselect all the joints so I can start from scratch. So I'll do the second one somewhere here, up to this place. So for me to break this bone, I'll just hold down shift, click, 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 click. And that's for that. So I'll make sure I deselect the joints, come to this, control and click this to add a joint and to just follow the curve. All right, so this is not enough because if I go to the perspective, you notice if you remember, you always have this issue. So we need to put this guy in place, all right? So for us to do that, notice I didn't do this other one. I'm just going to mirror this once I'm done with this one, yeah. So if I go to the top view, I can bring this in position. So I'll just drag this. Yeah, so I'm trying as much to be at the center. This, this, so this will be here and this will be somewhere there. So I might need to go to perspective to be sure. Okay, so that's not bad. So maybe we would have to bring this here and here just to follow that. Curvature. So we'll do the same thing for the last one. So this is here, move this here. And so what I'm doing right now is just to make all my um, bones, put them in position so we don't have issues later on. <clears throat> so I don't want to move this, so I just want to move these bones down here. Okay, so I think I'm almost done with this right here. So if I go to perspective view, everything should be in place. So that's fine. So I have the main head bone and I have the ones that. So maybe this should be here. So once I'm done with this, I'll just select all these joints, hold down shift. Select the first one, hold down shift and select the last one. So you select everything. I'll go to character, then mirror. So if I go to this, I will just mirror this because I want to mirror it according to my word view and the word view is X. So if I, the X is correct, so it mirrors to the other side. So we have that. So this is pretty much everything I need. So I need to make sure I group these guys here. Put these three um, head, um, what do I call this? Make them children of this 
because that's very important. We need to make them children to do. So what we'll do is, um, I will go to the main bone, which is this. So I'll just call this the head and the neck. So this is just the only thing I need to name. I don't really need to name all these things. I just, just want to show you guys. So I'll bring all these guys here, make them children of the neck. And the reason why I'm making them the children of the neck is so that if I select the neck and rotate the neck, see what happens. See, that is what I'm looking for. So you notice it automatically creates these um, bones, joining them together. All right, so we have that. So let's quickly create the setup. So if we go to the first um, set of bone here, so I'll right click here, go to um, rigging tag. In this case, I'm using R21. So you go to rigging tag, then you click on IK. So if I click on IK, this comes up. I need to specify the end bone so i'll just move to the tag click on this seven drag it to the end as soon as i do that it creates this green line between the first and the last so that's just pretty much what i need for that so then the other thing is just let's just quickly do for the other bone so we will select this right click go to rigging tag ik under the tag bring this as the end bone join that so remaining one more, more okay so you right click on this you go to rigging tag and ik then bring this as the end so you have this so now that we have this if you play nothing happens and the reason is because we need to now add dynamics to this we've not added dynamics so if we twirl this close and I, we select everything here, all this tab, we have a tab here, which is a dynamic tab. So if we go to the dynamic tab, we need to enable that. So let me bring this up to um, 500, thereabouts. So we have enough time. So if we activate this dynamics, this is what we get to have. So if I play this now, you notice all of them fall. So now you see the rate at which they fall, is dependent on the strength. So if I bring this back, so let's work on the first one, which is this middle one. So because I want this middle one, I don't want it to fall down. I want it to, I want the strength to be so high. So what I'm going to do is select this, bring the strength up to maybe somewhat um, 85. I think 85 is small, so let's try 92. So let's play that, see what happens. Okay, so we might need to, so let me just disable this one. So we will just work with this alone. So if we play this, you notice what happens. So if we come here and bring this down to 80, you can start seeing the effect. So let's try and come to 60, see that, and 50. Okay, so you, you get to a point where it starts jiggling this way. So what we'll do is you need to look for that um, sweet spot. So we might need to bring this up again to, let's say, 65. Play. And we have that. So you can also increase the drag. So what increasing the drag does is just to slow down the noise effect that you have. And the good thing with this is that if I come to this neck and I move this neck or rotate the neck, you see what happens, it affects this object. Okay. So let's um, deactivate that and work on the next one. So for this one, I know 30 will be too small because if we play this, see what happens. So let's bring this up to, um, 70 and let's see okay maybe 70 might be too much so let's try 60. yes i want to have that deflection 
So that means we would have to do the same thing for this. We just change that 60. And once we are done with this, the next thing is to bind this to the object so that it affects this object. So let's quickly bind this thing. So we'll hold down control and we do click on this top hierarchy, which is the neck. As soon as you do that, it selects all the children. It will select. You don't have to go through and start selecting them. Once you just select the parents and hold down control, then middle click, it's going to select the whole children. Then hold down control and select the geometry. Once you're done with that, go to character, choose bind, and it's going to do its magic and bind that. So let's just wait for it. Oh, okay. So it's bound. So let's try and see if there will be no need for us to do any, um, what's the call? Oh, sorry, we did not activate this before. So I think I'll have to undo that until the, okay, so until we are back here. So if we come back to this, Okay, so you can see we have a problem now. So I need to fix this problem. So we could just go to this, um, go to this bone and put this in position. So I'm trying to position this. So in your own case, you might need to make sure you have everything correct before you start doing this. And the reason I'm having this problem is because I already have an IK tag added to it. So it's really going to give me issues with that. So um, I'll just try to position this in a slight angle that would work for me, okay? Okay, I think that's fine. So what we'll do is we just select everything, make sure they're all activated. Also activated and come back. So we can just come here and back. Okay, so oh, we need to. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I've already, I'll just delete this. I'll delete this one. So if I come to this joint here, I'll delete that so I can work with the other one. So for this one, I'm going to mirror that. So you click on mirror. Okay, so we need to, sorry about that. So I need to manually do that. So select this and mirror. So for the mirror, I'm going to change the mirroring position. So the position is mirroring from positive to negative. So we're changing this from negative to positive now. Then if I do that, it's going to mirror that. So we have this solved. So now we have to cross check and make sure all of them are activated. So now that we know they're activated, for some reason, uh, we have this issue. We have to scrub the timeline and go back. Okay, so if I hold down control and click, hold down control and do this, and then we bind that. So we'll go over to a character, bind, and it's going to bind the object. So let's just wait for this. So once this object is bound, we can now start checking the animation. It works. Okay, so we have that. So let's play see what we have so if we come to this neck we move this neck see so i have this having effect so if i want to rotate i can rotate this it also goes with it so i don't so you can actually i don't have time you already know that you can you just have to make sure everything is fine by um waiting this whole thing but what i just wanted to show is how you can work with your dynamics and 
affect this. So you don't have to do in any keyframe for the secondary animation on the candle. All you need is just animate the normal object. So and every other thing is fine. So I could just filter off the joints. So everything should be good. So where's joints? Uh, joint. So if I do that, see what we have. All right, so this looks so rough, but you get the idea of what I'm trying to show you guys. So just working with these tags and that should solve a lot of things. We have many things here, you have collision. So what collision is, you have an object you want it to collide with, you can also do that, choose a collision object. So let me even try that. So let me just put an object here and reduce this and move this up and somewhere here. So let me put this here, then go to this object, activate the collision, and I need to put this as a collider object. So once we have that, the next thing is if I try moving this, it should collide. You can see it's colliding with this object. All right, this is so nice and interesting, see? All right, so. I just thought I should share this guy, this stuff to you because it's really um, a neat tool for us to use. So if you feel this was helpful, this is more like a quick tip. If you feel this was helpful, please do give me a like and a thumbs up and, and share this because it helps me in YouTube algorithm. And also, if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe because I do tutorials like this every time. So do have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye.